So hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday and happy Bio Expo at Morton College. I'm so excited that you're all here and I will be admitting some students and program partners. Hopefully more people will join us. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to check to make sure that everybody sees my screen. Can everybody see my PowerPoint presentation while your programs expo? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's great. So I will be the host. So I will be admitting students if more people will join us and I will be changing the slides as well. And we have a few presenters here who will be talking about their perspective areas and providing more information about our program. So I wanted to start by introducing myself and I'm trying to move my screen. And even though I tested, it is not changing right now. So let's see. So I'm Irina Klein. I'm the director of community and continuing education. And I am an employee of Morton College. I've been with Morton College for around eight years, a little over eight years. And currently I oversee on all non-credit career and community programs here at Morton College. And um, one of the areas that I oversee is continuing education. We're a part of the Office of Institutional Advancement and our goal overall is to enhance the quality of life of our diverse community in various areas. And in my area, it is to create successful and short passageways for students and community members to obtain steady employment in various industries with high demand jobs. In continuing education, we offer various formats of courses in person, online live and online self-paced courses, hybrid programs to meet various needs of students and community members. We offer classes in the AM, PM, and again, self-paced online courses that you can access at any time. And uh, this information session is about our grant funded programs. We applied for YO funding and YO stands for Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, which is a federal grant for students to receive education in again, high demand industries. So it covers all of the expenses. It covers not only the cost of the course, which are non-credit courses, so they don't um, go along with financial aid, but VIO does cover it all. It covers expenses for the courses to make sure that those who qualify have an opportunity to pursue their educational endeavors and again receive the employment in those areas where jobs are plenty. So, and here we have several representatives from our VIO funded programs. All of them qualify for that funding. And I will ask the representatives to share more information about their perspective areas. And uh, we will answer the questions at the end, unless it's something like very urgent that uh, you can feel free and, and ask questions. Otherwise, question and answer will be at the very end. So, and now we will talk about our commercial driver's license course that has been piloted in October and has been proven very successful so far. And we have Alfredo Alvarez who will talk about this course. Yes, uh, good morning, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Arena? Yes, yes. Hello, hello, yes. you can hear me? Okay, uh, I also wanna welcome uh, Grayling Jones. He just uh, joined us, I don't know if uh, you, can you hear us uh, Grayling? I don't know if, uh, can you, if you can turn him on, Irina. I, I think he's off. Grayling, he just joined right now. And Jasmine. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me, Irina? Yes, I, yep, I can hear you. Okay, Grayling, Grayling thank you very much for joining. Thanks very much uh, for promoting the program. Uh, and thank you, uh, Irina, for the opportunity to partner up with uh, Morton College. That's a very important uh, distinction for our school. So um, 
I've been uh, the owner of uh, Alto Truck Driving School since 2011. Uh, we built it basically from zero. So uh, the bottom line for us is customer service. And that's been our calling card uh, ever since. Um, we have a, a development now that's the automatic license. As you can see on the slide, there are three uh, women in the picture. Uh, currently, we have, I believe, uh, five uh, women in the in the uh, in the class. And um, what happens is that once they introduce the automatic trucks, it makes it more user friendly. So it's not just obviously the women that are looking at it more, but also people in general that uh, couldn't for some reason uh see themselves as, as truck drivers what happens is it's a little bit hard to learn how to shift on a large vehicle large commercial vehicle so now with the automatic trucks we are having virtually no dropouts because we were having uh in general people that just couldn't do it or they weren't comfortable so that's that's a, a nice development uh the reason we have the three women there is because we're promoting it obviously for for women uh, there are a lot of women drivers, and they're very good, uh, you know, but um, again, this is, this is a good uh, step forward. Um, so we, we partner up with, uh, with Morton College, and um, as, as Irina said, we are very busy. We would like to get more uh, students um, that are looking at this as a career change, and, and you know, I think uh, when Grayling, uh, when his turn to talk, he's also looking at increasing the number of uh, of CDL drivers uh, in a program that he's running with the governor of Illinois. Uh, but but that's uh, that's uh, Grayling's area. He can he can talk about that. Um, I would like to uh, offer whoever is interested in looking at you know this as a career uh, path. And also because now we have the automatic trucks, just come over, either contact me, contact Irina at Morton College, and then we can set up a visit. Uh, you can uh, also call, you know, Jasmine, uh, obviously, to come to the office. And um, so that's the offer. Anybody that's interested in looking at commercial driving, uh, give me a call. And if you have any questions, you know, obviously, you know, call me or come over to the school. Okay, okay. So that's it for me right now, Irina. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank okay, you for okay, this Irina. information. And sure. I just mm -hmm. wanted to um, just provide a few points about this program. And again, it's been very successful pilot we began in october and we had a lot of interest it is a growing program at morton college we offer both am and pm classes depending on the student's interest availability so we can accommodate for that we have in-person truck driving training here at morton college so if you pass by check out the trucks and um we are so proud to have that component here on campus. And there is a virtual test prep as well. It is open enrollment for YO students. So as soon as they receive the voucher, they'll need to let me and our YO coordinator, who you will hear from later, just let them know, let me know. And we can enroll you into the AM or PM class uh, but you do have to receive the VIO voucher first prior to enrollment. So we have all of the endorsements that are included in this program, as well as permit fee, medical exam, drug screening, fingerprinting, and all of the endorsements. So again, that's one of the advantages of VIO programs is that everything is covered. So the goal of that grant is to support students who qualify to successfully complete programs like CDL that lead to steady employment and transition them into the workforce. So 
another program that we offer, and I'm going to cover that at this presentation, is a pharmacy technician. So that is one of our career courses in a uh, very much high demand area, healthcare, and it is by your approved. So pharmacy tech program is currently offered in the virtual live format. We did have it in person prior to COVID. Right now it is virtual live. And it also offers externship. In some cases, externship sites still offer in-person externship, depending on the sites. But there's also an option to take externship kit home and communicate with the site supervisor virtually and receive that experience. So that those two components are what distinguishes our program from others is that not only we have the lecture available, but also that valuable externship experience where you can get linked with employers, can get job experience. And of course, when you do apply for a job, they always ask for a reference, right? So, or a letter of recommendation. And that's where you can get it from. You can get a professional reference connection and some externship sites also hire students from our program. So I don't want to say that you will get hired at your site, but there are a lot of opportunities for it. The requirements are to be at least 18 and have a high school diploma or a GED for pharmacy tech. Uh, through that program, you prepare for two certification exams. And after the completion, you take the exam to receive your license. Pharmacy and pharmacy technicians are one of the jobs that are rapidly growing. And it is projected that by 2022, there will be 70,000 plus jobs in that area. So often I do have pharmacists calling me asking when the graduates are available for employment. Again, a lot of opportunities to receive steady employment and to get hired pretty fast. A lot of opportunities for employment, not only in conventional community and retail pharmacy, but also in specialty pharmacy, mail order, online pharmacy, nuclear pharmacy, hospitals, infusion centers, home health care. So a lot of different opportunities and pharmacy technician area. And um, if you're interested in more information, feel free again to ask questions, send me an email and we can talk further. This course begins on April 1st. So if someone is applying for YO funding, start very soon. And as soon as you receive the commentation, just let me know. And the next slide, I will ask Joy to present on it, and it will cover our online career training programs. Good morning, everyone. I am Joy Jamerson. I am the Workforce Development Manager for Morton College, and I'll be covering all of the online training programs that are we all are approved and that we currently have um, that you can enroll into. So the online training programs majority of them that we have, well, all of them that we have approved on the WIO list is industry recognized um, and they lead to industry recognized certifications. They are short-term programs. That means they are either six, nine or 12 months. And just because they're six, nine or 12 months, you can complete them in a sh much shorter time. They're open enrollment. So you can enroll now, tomorrow, next week, next year. Um, and they're in-demand occupations. So when we were looking to add courses to the um, ETPL, which is the eligible training provider list, we wanted to make sure that we added courses that were in high demand in our area. So all of the courses that we chose to get approved through WIOA are all in demand and then they're low cost. We have programs starting as low as $500 all the way up to $4,000. You can change it. These are the programs we have on that's approved so far. So we have two, what three medical billing and coding courses. We have the certified bookkeeper. If you want your um, CompTIA certifications, we do have the A plus network plus and security plus in the bundle. Um, if you want to start a freight, freight broker or agent training um, company, we have that program. 
a full stack developer, human resources professional, and the web design professional. As stated in the previous slide, all of these are um, open enrollment. They are approved through WIOA, so you'll be able to get funding through WIOA to take one of these courses. They are open enrollment, so you'll be able to enroll at any time, even on holidays, you can enroll. And then they are self-paced. So as long as you have at least internet access, you have a laptop or a desktop, or even sometimes your cell phone, you'll be able to take the courses. Next slide, please. Okay, so if anyone that's interested in the programs, you're always welcome to call um, Irina or myself and we'll give you more information on those programs. Please, 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 if you have any questions, do not hesitate. I know I went fast through those two slides that we have, and um, but I wanted to make sure that you got the information that you knew that we had these programs. And like I said in the beginning, if you, have, if you are in dire need or need more information, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Joy. And our next slide is about what happens after you complete the programs. One of the features that distinguishes Morton College from other providers is that we have career services staff here on campus. And Gina Torres, career services coordinator, will talk about what we have to offer upon the completion of the program and also during the WIOA process. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gina Torres. I'm the Career Service Coordinator for Morton College. I've been with Morton for over 16 years. And um, my role in, uh, in this department is to help you uh, create or build your resume and cover letter. Um, I can also work with you on feeling more prepared for your interviews, whether they're in person or virtual. So we can go ahead and create some mock interviews so that you're going into your interview um, feeling a lot more prepared, more confident, um, and just you know, knowing exactly um, how to answer certain questions sometimes can be tricky. Um, we also give you access to our job search site, which is our College Central Network. Um, not only are you able to search for uh, job opportunities, both full and part-time, but you can also build your resume uh, right directly from there as well. For those students or individuals that are wanting to seek further assistance with career choices, we also provide you access to assessments that will help you determine what careers are best suited for yourself. And with regards to WIOA, um, you would meet with me once you've been approved for um, the WIOA funding to get your paperwork completed. Um, we will um, go through some paperwork together complete it, you would then submit that back to your case manager. And once they have approved and provided you the voucher, you would then provide it to myself. Um, and then I can provide it to um, Irina so that you can then register uh, for the individual classes that you're interested in taking. Um, if you have further questions, you can always contact me um, directly, uh, career services at morton.edu, or you can contact us by phone. So for those of you who don't understand what WIOA is, it is a federally funded program that covers training expenses, such as the few programs that were mentioned today. Those who qualify are individuals who have been laid off or whose household income is at or below the federal poverty level. So there is a process for, your, um, for you to determine whether you qualify or not. So when you meet with a case manager, which is through a local job center, um, I've included the link here today, but again, you can reach out to me and I can provide you the link directly. You can find the nearest local job center um, where you can apply and determine your eligibility um, based on a couple of different criteria. Uh, but this is the way that you would be able to start that process. Um, again, you can reach out directly to me through career services at morton.edu to get this piece of it started. And that is it for me. Okay, so um, this is the information and just the highlights about the VIO funded programs that we have. And if someone wants more information or has questions, 
you can ask them now. If you think about some questions later, feel free to reach out to me. There will be later slide with my contact and Gina's and we'll forward them to the provider. So if anyone has questions, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask them. Uh, Irina, I just wanted to uh, briefly uh, invite Grayling. Uh, please, if you could make some comments. Uh, it's related to the CDL program, obviously, and uh, other issues. Grayling, can you hear me? Is he muted, uh, Jean? I mean, Irina. Yeah, I'm asking. Okay, him. you can oh, he you can hear me now. Yes. Yes, okay. we can. Yes, uh, can Grayling. I can I make can I make a few uh, comments? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you on the line, my name is Grayling Jones and I've been in the industry now for 41 plus years. And uh, I am the current chair of the shortage of CDL and TDL opportunities uh, in Illinois for the governor's workforce board. And that is my role right now in interest. And I wanna just thank you, first of all, Morton College and uh, All Pro for collaborating to help develop these uh, short pathways to high demand jobs that are in the area in TDL and CDL training that are available now. And for every student that's on the line right now, you know, taking a look at Morton's um, website, you know, the mean meaning uh, you can make $33,000 a year with degrees from uh, Morton. Well, I wanna tell you right now in transportation, there's an opportunity for you to make three times that amount in a very short period of time following this career path. And it can set you on the path to either have a career right now or a career that will lead to a small business venture. And so having said that, I wanna encourage everyone that can hear my voice as to take a hard look at uh, transportation and, and CDL development because with that, I'm telling you, uh, it's a safe career. It's one that's not gonna be blown away very quickly and one that can really help individuals go from zero to unbelievable uh, wealth building. So I just wanted to pass that out. And again, thank you, Morton and, um, and All Pro. What I plan to do is on the governor's level is use this as an example with your permission of how the community is teaming together uh, to create awareness and develop individuals. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grayling, for these comments. And I'm looking forward to connecting further regarding spreading the awareness about this program, which we definitely need to make sure that as many people, community members, Morton College students, you don't have to be in the district to apply for this program. And so our goal is to have as many people be aware of this incredible opportunity. Anybody else has questions or comments? Okay, so if not, uh, well, feel, oh I yes, continue? more questions, yes. Um, okay, so um, throughout the whole process, what's, what would be the next step? Like how would we get started on these classes? Do we have to register with Martin or is it like different with Wyoa? So I can answer that question for you. Um, so your first step would be to reach out to me so that we can give you the contact information of a local job center where you will go through an orientation and then find out if you qualify for WIOA. If you do, your assigned case manager will provide you some paperwork that you will then reach out back to me to fill out with you. Once you've had that completed and you receive your voucher, you'll provide it to me and then we can get you registered. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And again, feel free to follow up with me or Gina. The next slide will have our contact information. Any other questions, comments? I have a question. Okay. Uh, what if we don't need that funding or we wouldn't even qualify for that funding? Can we still attend these programs, just like pay it on our own? Yes, um, we again offer a lot of flexible options. If you do qualify for WIOA, I 
do encourage you to try it if you're not in the rush it does take a little bit of time to complete the paperwork but it's so worth it because the funding covers everything right so you will uh, you would have to spend the money however if you do not qualify i would advise you just to check maybe you know you would qualify but if you don't we do offer self-paying options for all of the programs and i we can discuss that further offline feel free to send me an email and i'm going to send you the information regarding self-funded options for all of the above mentioned programs um are these the only um classes that are offered like career classes for wyoa or with, is there a longer list with continuing education those are the only ones so uh here we only cover the programs in the non-credit areas of continuing education, which is the department that I oversee. Um, I'm going to ask Gina uh, to share uh, regarding the credit side. There may be other classes offered, uh, which are also uh, qualify for YO, but they're not in my area and they're not going to be covered during this presentation, which only addresses non-credit programs. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so um, on the credit side um, at Morton College, we do have some additional programs that are covered through um, WIOA. A few of them are automotive, heating and air conditioning. Um, we have business management certificate. We have a few of our computer aid design certificates, our physical therapy assistant uh, associate's degree, our nursing CNA, and our nursing degree, um, the associate's degree are also covered. Welding is also covered. I believe I'm missing a few others, but um, again, if you reach out to me, I can send you the link where it directly gives you the list of all of the programs that are covered under WIOA um, at Morton College. The program Gina mentioned are credit programs, so they will take a little longer time and she can provide you with the information via email exactly what are the required components of all of the other programs if you're interested. Yes, absolutely. Okay, any other questions we can address? Just one thing very briefly, Gina. I mean, uh, Irina, I'm sorry. Uh, if you, uh, like Grayling was saying that he mentioned something about a business opportunity also with trucking. And I wasn't aware that Morton College had a freight broker training. So that opens up a whole other area of, uh, of opportunities in transportation. If someone gets their CDL, they can start as a driver. But I always mention to the students during the course, you know, you can look at this also as a business opportunity. And actually the a freight broker, uh, is a person is, is sort of like the middleman. So um, after the meeting, obviously I'll follow up with you to see who is, uh, you know, to contact the person that is doing that training. And uh, and that's also another uh, area that our students can look at. Oh yeah. Very important. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we can definitely connect and see um, what we can do with those opportunities. Thank you. Any other questions, comments before we conclude? Okay. Oops. So here is my and Gina's contact information. I know we had several presenters, but uh, for the just purposes of clarity to make sure that we collect all of the questions, you can reach to me or Gina. So you would reach to Gina if you have questions with YO process, application, YO programs, and you would reach out for me to me if you have questions about specific programs, enrollment, payment, and um, anything else. And as usual, if I don't know the answer, I will connect you with the person who will help you with that. And so if you want to write it down or take a screenshot, our contact information is here. Feel free to reach out. And my, with this said, I wanted to thank everybody for being a part of this presentation, for sharing your valuable insights. And I'm looking forward to enrolling students, branded awareness about these programs and bringing them to the next level.